I travel for different reasons. Sometimes it's to escape, and sometimes it's to discover. At this point in my life, it's getting hard to differentiate between the two because it feels like the more lost I get, the more I find myself. And the more I create, the more I understand why I was created. <laughs> but before we get too deep. Hey, y'all know what time it is. Ooh, it's Young Manny. That's how we doing, boy. He just dropped the EP, you know what I'm saying? It's a classic, instant classic. Like most great stories, this one starts off slow. If if we stay here too long and the sun sets, we actually gotta like double back. No, we're not doubling oh my back. Gosh. We're getting a place to stay because I'm not driving back. Like look, look at the road. Before leaving for this trip, Remy and I wrote down our motivations as well as our fears. And we can't really go back in this at the end. Oh! No, there's not. Ah, there's nothing happened, bro. We've been bumping like this, and you haven't been yelling. I bumped my head on the ceiling. And you didn't even yell like that, but now you want to be doing. Ah! Sorry. I'm trying to rock it, though. Let's make this interesting. Want to make this interesting? Yeah. All right. My motivation was to expand my worldview and make genuine connections. Yo, you get the it's a car! It's a car! Oh my gosh, Remy oh, heard that. That son. was the axle. Remy's motivation was to escape the monotony of life, yeah, if only for a moment. Bro, I don't like that. I got you. Man. I don't like that. All right, let's get oh my go. gosh, I got a headache. I'm about to do a maintenance check. We might have to stand off with this guy right here. Dude, yeah, don't worry, I got my strap. Got a pass TSA. <laughs> what you doing, bro? Hanging out. Jesus Christ, this is this is so unsanitary, bro. And you're gonna step in the car and touch all this stuff. That's the crazy I part. I wasn't touching myself. Yeah, okay. We believe you. This is life. What? Remy this fears is being life. mediocre and living a life where he's a slave to routine. Josh, you stand like this. I fear the possibility of dying, full of potential and dreams. Hey. Leaving the world without making Bonjour. any impact. It's Josh in Belize. You know how we do it. You know Belize, multilingual country you know what i'm saying why go on yeah 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 you know how we doing it you really just tried to show some areola for the for the flex areola yeah. i didn't mean to show the areola that's right pepperoni pizza boy we spent the first two days desperately pushing to make something happen but that only brought frustration We were convinced that we needed to be doing more. We needed to be experiencing more, but Belize had plans of her own. There were a couple of lessons she wanted to teach us during our stay. Woo! I love you, buddy! Come on! Mickey Mouse Bubbles! This is what I have to deal with for the next five days. This is where the story really begins. Here on the island of Key Coker with Zach from French Angel Expedition. Basically what we do, we try on the mask to see how, how much resistance it gives you on the forehead. So what you want to do, you don't use this strap. You place it on the face, inhale into it. You have, oh, oh, perfect, yeah. Just inhale, hold your breath for 30 minutes. Believe <laughs> you, Frank. Shut your hand Frank. out. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, Frank. That's all you, bro. A little bit lower, Frank. Just a little. Oh! You see, there are people who do their jobs. Then there are people like Zach. Those who are willing to go the extra mile to make you smile. Oh, I said, baby, your boy is a nut. You gotta keep on your clothes. His charisma was tangible. He was passionate about marine life, but even more passionate about people. Uh, you are Jamal. 
You got to see the truth. Throw it, throw it. We got to stay in control. But when I stay in control, I really be losing my soul. That's why I look up to God and I make it. I swear to these suckers and sugars. Don't do that, man. You got to do that. 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 This is the hey, you gotta call it, man. Zach, man, he's the king. Tell him, tell him, tell him. I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm the king, but I know I did a great job and make this guy have fun today, and I made him laugh. That's yeah. what I know. <laughs> My man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Snorkel God. Yeah. Thank you, man. Just know what I do, man. Just know what I do. So that got us thinking. What if our focus wasn't the experiences we were having, but the people around us? the people that could be so easily passed by and taken for granted. What if we chose to see? Yes. It was this train of thought that allowed us to spark a conversation with Mr. Brown, who picked us up to go ATVing. He had been deported from the US, but still feels like- That's considered as home. I don't care if you was born here or what. You feel me? Yeah, my kids, everybody, I'm not there to enjoy them. Oh, they're home? Yeah, they're Americans. Oh, they live in Chicago? Mm -hmm. A couple of them come and visit me. My girl come and visit me, right? She, you know, man, she have a good relationship. I tell her, baby, you know? She said, I told you to move on. We still gonna be friends. I said, you know I did. <laughs> you know, I can't wait. We're here forever, and think you gonna come down here later. But she, I just got her Belize and citizen, so she got dual citizen. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Where she live? She live in Chicago. Uh, she How's it like being black here, man? Man, the same way like what you have in the States, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sometimes I ask myself if black people curse. Mm. <laughs> For real, I ask myself sometimes, why we gotta go through all these obstacles? Mm. We keep calling ourselves black and black and black, and we are no black. What about the Bible that mention our history? Yeah. The Mobites, the Hittites, the Kushites, mm. the Amorites. Who is those people? We are the Mobites at last. We lost our way. So by we not belong to a nation and keep calling ourselves black, we always gonna be under oppression. Cause we don't have a flag. We don't have our own government that govern us. So we gonna be always in this situation. Mm. When it turned to those people, they got a nation on the European nation. Are oh, you still calling yourself black? What do you have, black black man? Ain't no black flag, is no black land. You talking about Africa for so long and you went back there? No. Okay. It was Farrakhan done set the trend long time. So they can't mess with him. He said, I'm the nation of Islam. Do me what you want. I got a flag, I'm a government just like you. Mm. You could call it religion, whatever you want, but it's the government. Yeah. yeah. And that's the real deal. Religion. And government is a law and order of the day, because every government is a nation. You know, Joe Ali done set the foundation, Marcus Garvey came from Jamaica, joined with him, and they said it long time. But we still not following it on this black, black what? Black people live here, but they don't call themselves black. They say, man, I'm a Garifuna. Why? Because that's a nation. And every all of we down here recognize the Garifuna nation. Hmm. Yeah, powerful black people. Hmm. Yeah. to get a drone shot over the Noachja and Reserve, but the wind tossed my drone into a tree. Yeah. Thankfully, Stephen and Daniel came to my rescue. Ah, uh, woo! We got it! Yeah! Look at everybody standing around. Yeah, that damn drone. Oh! <laughs> Boss man, thank hey, you. Man. You're welcome, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Belize right now. Oh my gosh. It's a time to celebrate. Thank you. Bye bye, man. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, one more time. One more time. Okay, so this next individual, he can't really be explained over voiceover, right? So 
I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Josh. Woo! How am I introducing myself in the middle of the piece? That's crazy. All right, so um, Remy and I, we pull into a parking lot, and we're in the back, right? And we're, we're packing all of our camera gear and all this different stuff, getting ready to go. And off in the distance, we hear, BX, homie! And then we're just like, huh? And he's like, BX! So then we look, and then we're like, what's up? And then he's like, hey, are y'all from the Bronx? And we're like, nah. And he's like, oh, for real? I thought y'all was from the Bronx because y'all had that Bronx accent. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. My name's Kareem. So we're like, oh, what's good? This ain't third, right? But he's talking and he's getting closer. And it's like 8 a.m. And he has a fifth of rum in his hand. I'm just confused. And I'm just like, son, what's actually going on, right? We continue to our destination and Kareem's just following us. I have my big camera in one hand, my backpack slung over. I'm just walking like boom, 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 boom. And Kareem... <laughs> And Kareem's like, hey, you be shooting videos? So I'm like, yeah. And he was like, oh, for real? Hey, hey, record me, record me. So I'm like, all right, bet. Hey, my name Kareem. I'm off the real on the blazing streets. Look at that. Sit back. Lean back Ooh. as we blow on this hydro. Uh -uh. When we ride slow through the hood, look out for 5-0. Cuz Ooh. on his block with his Glock, slanging that crack rock. Down the ride or die, ready to shake and bake. Got a black glove, a black mask, and a black dusty egg. Going bang, 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 boogie. It's all good. Our final stop was the Howler Monkey Pavilion, where we met Royce. His passion for wildlife wasn't only evident, it was contagious. This is the life of the country right here, the Belize River. Oh, soft, very, very refreshing water. It doesn't even, it doesn't feel dirty. No, it's not. That's why the minnows are here. Yeah. They're just here. So you wanna take a shower? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this you need big. to get this it. You need, need to get this. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah. I need everyone to know about the exactly. monkeys and banana. Now, a banana. I'm pretty sure you saw the plant already. Yeah. It is a plant. Most folks say, hey, banana tree. It's not a tree. It doesn't grow tall. Bananas, the seed are in the center. They're unovulated, small little dark dots in the center of the banana. You eat the seed when you eat a banana. There is no symbiotic relationship with any animal that eats it in their feces dispersal, having these seeds to grow a new plant. These seeds are unovulated. You could try the best soil, the best climate to plant it, it will never grow. So how do they grow? That's the good question. <laughs> Bananas produces a sucker on the root of it that produces a new plant. When it's mature, it produces a new plant. Mm. So you replant the root of the banana or the plantain, and that's how you get a new plant to grow. Mm. No animal is so ingenious enough other than humans to replant the root. Yeah. So it's strictly domesticated mm. how can a wild monkey living in the trees find a domesticated plant like a banana they can't mm -hmm. ground dwelling primates can mm. chimpanzees mm. was the primate that had bananas be symbiotic mm. with monkeys mm. so Jane Goodall my favorite primatologist did the research with chimps. Chimps utilize bananas in their diet. Hollywood taught that all monkeys eat bananas. Now, I want you to understand, she thinks of us to be the most destructive thing that they could ever encounter. They know we encroach on their habitat. This hand, all you do, you leave it flat, like you fed a horse. I'm not sure if you ever fed a horse, no. but all, all you do, you leave it flat. Mm -hmm. And I will break this fruit up in both your hand, this hand first, and then this hand and what i want you to do buddy mm -hmm. is give her one hand and then come with the other hand okay okay now the peel is also incorporated in their diet because hold on what you do you go to the monkey i want you to come to her like this let me get close right here just like this come to that and you're safe buddy <laughs> you getting it oh, snap get jaws worry about the moment that phrase, worry about the moment, seemed to be our mantra on this trip. That's the eldest offspring, three year old female. Maturity starts five years for females, seven years for males. Right there. There we go. 
She's aggressive. That's what I'm saying. You good, man? Uh, the verbal that I will use is a verbal that we took four years to study. It's a pattern. Now, why I could do it is because we as humans, we share a hyaloid bone with howler monkeys and lions. Lions are five miles, these monkeys up to three and a half miles. We can be loud as well, but we have a larynx that allows us to talk. But we have to stress because we can talk. So we have to scream and shout. What I'm gonna do is simply a pattern of a deep inhale and a deep exhale to make him a challenge. So that is what I will be doing for you right now. <coughs> Naturally, we wanted to try, but it seemed like the father knew Remy was a sweet boy. He didn't take him as a threat. You might need some help, bro. <laughs> so do you breathe out? Yeah, you breathe out and in. Okay, it's inhale, in. exhale, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta push it. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead, one more. You got them over there. Yeah, you can hear the other. Family. You're gonna try to, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so. <laughs> so you, you go like this. <gasps> No, I, do I it once more. Do it once more. He's almost. He's almost. He has almost picked up on it. Push, push it. Cover your mouth. This is where primal instinct kicked in. <laughs> too much? It's too much? <laughs> I, I did too much? No, that's good, that's good. I should do one more? Keep going? Try it? One more, but not, not, not too much aggressive. Not too much aggressive. Just one more. You were feeling it, bro. Yeah, you were feeling it. <laughs> Josh, you got him oh, upset, no, Josh. <laughs> you got him, bro. That was crazy. But being black here, man, a lot of stereotyping. We have a lot of beautiful ethnicity in our country. It's a blend. The Mayans blending with the Africans is a beautiful blend. And the British buccaneers that came in, the conquistadors, the Scottish, made the blend a little bit more unique, per se, but we are still not treated, even though we have British blood, Scottish blood, and Spanish blood in us, like we're a part of them. It's like, it's like, it's like a rape to happen, and you're like our offspring that we're disowning, but we're gonna recognize you from afar. Mm. It's like if you had outside children and be like, I don't want my wife to know about this child, yeah. so I gotta make sure my child know that I'm here, but I don't want my wife to know about my child. Yeah, so so that, yeah, that's the level of stereotyping that happens in our country. So being black here, I love to be black. I will yeah. change my color for anything yeah. because I know where I stand with my blackness. I know the necessary of my melanin. I know underneath the sun, we were created to be underneath the sun. So the sun could never kill me. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't get sunburned. <laughs> don't get sunburned. We, don't we don't need sunscreen. So being black here, man, it's uh, it's 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 a lot of division that happens just because of our black skin. We are we are being stereotyped to be very bad, very evil. At one point, just being black, they would say, "Hey, that black guy has a gun." Yeah, that's the level of stereotype that we had to endure here, yeah, you know. And yeah, even in America, so. yeah, even in America, it's you know, crazy. it was widely happening. So, being black, I appreciate being black. I love all 
other race. I love my race. And I hope that others love their race like I love my race and become appreciative of my blackness. Yeah. So, one love Rastafari. Selassie yeah. <laughs> I the first. I tell my brothers it's gonna be alright, but you see my Before visiting Belize, I feared the possibility of living a life with no impact. For some time, this fear was left unchecked and spread like a cancer, <laughs> crippling me. I believed impact had to be grand to be substantial, but my brothers in Belize taught me the importance of the seemingly small acts of compassion. Thank you. It's not you, it's me. If I let you have the keys, for if you lose the chains on me, stop. Then you drive me to the beach. Remy. Walk on. Why are you trying to abandon me in Belize? Uh, because you've been a nuisance for the past two days. A nuisance? Wow. He deleted the footage of the road, Josh. The footage? Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get more. Can you get in the car? We have places to go, people to see. Ooh, who are you trying to see? Name him. Bye, Josh. Ah, Remy! Yo, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share, share with your mom, your best friend, your uncle, your your all the haters. Send it to the haters because they need to say this, see this too. I can't even talk. Honestly, I'm tired.